YouTube what it is, man. It's your boy side so fly. I am no wave. I am no bridge, man. Welcome back to another video. Um, today is kind of a gloomy day here in Bali. You feel me? It's not. It was like sprinkling a little bit earlier, but nothing OD. Here at the villa, I think we got a few more days before uh, we actually gonna go to another villa. What villa? I have no clue. We haven't even looked looked yet. So uh, we gonna figure that out when when the time comes. Uh, you hear them niggas in the background talking. Bank T in there working. My guy Key he over there working. And hey man, I'm over here working too. You feel me? So this right here is just another. This is a, another um, example of why I always tell y'all like yo, you gotta get around people who are just like you. You gotta get around people who are like minded, who push you to be great because. I mean, especially like as a man, I'm not about to just sit here and chill when I see this nigga Banks working and when I see Key working. That's literally what I was doing. Like, um, I mean, I did a little bit of work this morning, but like I was just because we about to get ready to leave. I just been kind of walking around and I'm seeing him on live. I'm seeing him, you know, closing the deal. I'm like, bro, let me pick up this camera, man. Let me record. Now, I'm not going to lie. Actually, first off, before we get started, man, if you're not subscribed already, click subscribe, catch the way, join the family. Like the video if you enjoy this video. If you rocking with these videos, I am, I'm being consistent, man. Consistent size in the building, so definitely like the video. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my energy is low right now, man. First off, my sleep schedule is all messed up, son. Sleep schedule is all crazy, and second, it's just I had a bad dream. I don't know if I want to talk about the dream right now or if I'm gonna talk about it. You know, when we get to where everybody go. I might as well just talk about it right now. Um, and then also, just trading uh, down right now, which is crazy because the bot is like 90% accurate. It was 90% win rate. And we only lost one trade this entire month so far. So we like 26 and 1. And I'm currently in two trades that's down. So it hasn't hit stop loss yet. So I'm not going to count them as losers. But damn, this shit just crazy now. I might as well just tell you about my dream. So. In one of my previous videos, I told y'all about, like, the situation with my son. Like, how I haven't seen him in a very long time. And, you know, that right there is a touchy subject. You feel me? I don't talk about that too often. Uh, hold on. That's my alarm. I don't... Hold up. But that right there is a, a real subject. You feel me? Like, I don't have a lot of bad things that's happening in my life. But that right there is something that, you know makes it brings me down it makes me sad and stuff like that you know um and as far as the dream that i had last night i honestly have this dream a lot <laughs> and this is one of my first times ever really talking about it so and my dreams be weird like every dream i ever have is always crazy especially when i explain it to other people they be like bro what and i'll be thinking like i don't know i don't know why i was dream dreaming that um but this this dream i know dreams be having meanings um, this dream, I actually uh, can kind of understand the meaning of it. And like I said, I had this dream a lot. So in this dream, I went back to my high school, went back to my old high school. And while I was driving up, I was driving up in a parking lot and I seen my son's mom. I seen my son. I seen her mom. I saw her brother and I saw her dad. So I literally saw her entire family. And um, when I seen them, I'm not going to lie, son, like, my stomach dropped. Like, I ain't, ain't going to lie. This wasn't a dream. This was like a nightmare. <laughs> you feel me? Because just the way that I was feeling, this was a bad dream. And um, when I seen them, my stomach dropped. And I really got scared. You feel me? And, like, I drove, I drove by him, and when I seen him, I literally was like, oh, hell no, I'm not parking over here. I parked in the other parking lot, you know, and I was pretty much doing my best to avoid them. And, um, and I mean, the reason why is just because, like, I don't have no problem with This is, like, real life, too. Like, I don't have no issues with them, you feel me? I don't have, like, no negative energy towards them. Like, if I see them... Like, I would literally genuinely, you know, hey, what's up? You know, hug, all of that. Even though I know they don't, <laughs> they, like, and I'm not, I ain't coming at them, but I, I know they don't fuck with me at all. You feel me? They don't, they, the, how I feel towards them is not how they feel towards me. You know, so, um, 
that's kind of why, like, when I seen him, I was, I just got scared. You feel me? Just like, oh shit, like, just nervous. And in the dream, like, I had to pretty much walk by them to get to where I was going. And like, I was literally hiding, like hiding behind people. I'm hiding behind buildings to try to get to where I'm going. And bro, it was, it was just weird, son. Like, you know, I remember I turned the corner and um, like when I turned the corner, like I turned the corner and got to where I was wanted to go, but I just wanted to see my son so bad. So I'm like peeking around the building just so I can like see him. He had long hair, he had a little twist in his hair. And I'm just like, damn, like, this is this is all in a dream. And um and then I think they ended up seeing me. You feel me? They ended up seeing me and her mom, her mom got up, picked brought my son, and he was like walk they was walking towards me. Bro, I literally got so scared, son. Like, you know how you have a nightmare and you sweating and your stomach is hurting? Like, that's bro, that's exactly how I was feeling. I don't know why I was feeling this way. Like I can't I can't control what I was doing in my dream. You feel me? I can't control that. I'm thinking that shit is real life, and um, and like I seen her walking towards me, and the way she was walking, it was like she saw me. It was like they knew they knew I was fucking there. So they she walking towards me, bro. I literally ran, I ran, and I started hiding, bro. And like it got to a point to where I'm running, and their whole family is like looking for me, you know. And, and bro, it was the just the energy that they was giving off in the dream. It was, uh, it was aggressive. Like I feel like they was about to jump me. You feel me? Like I'm feeling like they about to like beat my ass. You know? And um, yeah, that that was my dream. I woke up, bro. My stomach was hurting. I was sweaty. All of that stuff. And like I said, I know dreams be having meanings, and I know that that right there has some kind of meaning. You feel me? Like what I'm getting from that is low key. It's like running away from your problems, you know, and at the end of the day, I can definitely understand that because uh, uh, there is there is a a side of me that is scared. You feel me? There is a side of me that's nervous about the next time I see them, the next time that I see him. You feel me? Um, The next time I see like the next time I see any one of them in person, you feel me? Like, uh. I mean, seeing her, I already know she don't fuck with me. So I, I know that's going to be awkward. You know, seeing him, I mean, he's he's the most important. But seeing my son and, and like, I'm scared that he going to see me. And uh, of course, I'm pretty sure he's going to be, like, nervous, maybe. I mean, if he not, if he happy to see me, that's that's going to definitely make me happy. But, like, just he going to be nervous or, you know, he not going to uh, know who I am or, uh, you know, I don't know. Just, it's just... I don't know. Um, and also in real life, this is that is something I low key fear. Uh, I don't want to say I fear, but I do be nervous about it because we both we all live in the same city, and like I'll see the same kind of car that they have, and I be thinking like, oh shit, like what if that's what if that's them? Or I'll go to like some event and I be thinking like a football game or basketball game, and I think like, damn, bro, like what would I really do if I saw them in person? You feel me? If I see my son and his mom and and her boyfriend, you feel me? And the 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 guy that he's calling dad, like how would I really react? You feel me? And like I said, bro, this is my first life, you know. So certain things, a lot of like this, is my a lot of things that I go through is my first time ever going through it, you know. And of course, I could always ask, oh, I could always ask probably my my dad or somebody like, yo, you know, what should I do if this happens? And they, they could give me that opinion or like y'all could give me your opinion, opinion in the comments. But at the end of the day, I'm going to pick and choose to what I want to listen to, you know? And, um, yeah, I don't know, man. That's, that shit just, yeah, that shit is, is that whole situation is something that it really does bother me. Like I said, I, I had this dream a lot. It's not the exact same dream, but it's along like the same, the same gist is the same thing every single time, you know. And um, most of my dreams, I really don't be understanding. I don't really understand the the meaning of them. That dream right there, I I kind of I kind of understood that one clearly. Like it's like me running away from my problems because I was broke. I was literally running away from them, and I was hiding, and I was scared. I was nervous, and 
And I'm thinking, damn, when I see her, she gonna wanna fucking slap me or something. Like, I already know the energy. Her mom, she gonna probably have the same kind of energy. Her brother, he a little bit younger. That nigga might try to fight me or something. The whole thing is just weird, man. It's just weird, so. Yeah, so I woke up with negative energy, and then when I woke up and I checked the charts, my trades was down, and I'm just like, bro, like, I gotta fix my energy, son. Like, that's why um, I wasn't really recording. Like like I said, I showed y'all, they were out here working. You feel me? They, they get into the bag, and I was kind of just like walking back and forth. Then I had to snap out of it, like, yo, man, let me, let me get to work. You feel me? But... Um, I forgot what I was just saying. What I was just saying. <laughs> I do that every video. Oh my god, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get on that shit ASAP, man. I gotta, I gotta get right. Uh, oh, I was saying something about like my energy just being off. So yeah, that that kind of just threw my energy off and me waking up to my trades losing, which is crazy because my, my the bot don't lose, son. I mean, it loses, but it's ninety percent. Like, what are the odds that it loses two, two, three days in a row? Like, what the fuck? Um, and I, I'm down a lot of money right now, too. <laughs> a lot of money. So, at this point, I feel like I'm just attracting negative energy. So, I definitely have to fix my energy. And then, today is gloomy. When I woke up, it was raining. And it, was just, it was just all bad. I was sweaty, all of that. So, definitely got to fix my energy. Uh, we about to go get some food. This start this video started off as supposed to be a vlog, but I just kind of just told y'all a story. Uh, yeah, let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments, man. Do y'all be having dreams? Do y'all dreams tell y'all stuff? Like, um, uh, do you do you get messages in your dreams? Like I said, I have a lot of dreams. My, my dreams be crazy every single time. Like. It be crazy on some shit to where it don't make sense. My dreams really don't be making sense. But that dream, it made sense. And then me and her, we went to high school together. So, like, I literally went back to my high school. I have no, I don't even know why I was really there. I went back to my high school and all of them was there. So, yeah. Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments, man. What should I do? You know, just give me your opinion. If you're still watching. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate y'all, you know, for sticking with me and... Um, you know, tapping into every single video. Share these videos, man. Share them to your friends or something. Especially when it comes to like a video where I'm giving game or like I'm teaching or I mean anything, you know, send it to a friend. You know, one of these videos might change their life. You know, you never know. So, I'm about to get some food and uh, yeah, hopefully my trades freaking reverse and <laughs> get positive. That will make me a little bit happier. But I gotta change my energy first in order for that to happen so I can attract the things that I want. Because when it comes to the laws of attraction, the things that you want, want you. But the things that you don't want, they want you too. So at the end of the day, it all comes down to what you're thinking about. Because if you're thinking about positive things, positive things are going to happen. If you think about negative things, negative things are going to happen. So you got to be conscious and you got to be aware of what you're actually thinking about. All right. But that's today's video. I am, you know, end of the day, regardless of the good things that happen in my life, the bad things that happen in my life, you got to... I can't really complain because it could always be worse. You feel me? Like, it could always be worse. Always. And I, I know that for a fact because I remember when things was bad, bro. And I know how bad things could get. So I, I'm always grateful. I know, I, I, I know that I am blessed. I know that, you know, uh, God has a plan for me. Everything is written. I believe that, uh, that things are going to get better. I have 100% faith. I know that things are going to get better. It's just when. I don't know when. And the journey of how it's going to get better, I don't know that either. You feel me? Like, that shit might... I'm, I know it's going to be hard, but it is what it is. So, yeah, that's today's video. Appreciate y'all. Y'all stay cool. Stay safe out here in these streets, man. Most of all, stay wavy, my friends. Stay wavy, because waves don't die. Peace. I remember being broke, niggas calling me a joke, sleeping on me, now they woke, and now they say I give them hope, she ain't never even noticed me, now I pull up and she knows me, shorty say she see the goat in me, I got everybody quoting me.